we all know that IoT is on fire these days. Okay, not actually on fire, because that would be really bad. But <laughs> one of the very hottest areas in IoT is wearables. That's right, you've got your connected sneakers, internet-enabled mittens, your smart raincoats, and probably most practical of all, stuff you wear on your wrist. But how do you get started designing a wearable device? They have all these tiny sensors and microcontrollers and itty-bitty batteries that have to be charged. It's not like you can sit down at your lab bench, grab your soldering iron and a bin full of parts, and go to town. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk, and today your wearable designing dreams are gonna come true. My guest today is AJ L. Jalad from On Semiconductor, and we're gonna look at a cool new development kit for wearable devices. This is gonna be fun. Before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can find out more information about On Semiconductor's wearable development kit. Hi AJ, thank you so much for joining me today. Well, thank you, Emilia. Thanks for hosting me and giving me an opportunity to talk about our wearable products. Excellent. Okay, AJ, I want to design a wearable system of some sort, and I'm on, let's say, day one, <laughs> and I want a kit to get me started. I have heard you have something along those lines. Yes, so we just recently introduced our first wearable design kit, which gives you a kickstart on your development, both software and hardware. It gives you also a reference design that you can start with and then customize the product between a fitness band all the way to a high-end smartwatch. Excellent. But I'm not just working with blank hardware, right? Mm -hmm. You guys have a reference design that'll get me started, right? Yeah, absolutely. So our wearable development kit includes a full hardware and software reference design. From the hardware perspective, it includes everything from power management, for battery charger as well. It includes also wireless charging, but everything else is around the main component, which is the Nordic Semiconductor BLE. But everything else is from on semiconductor from, uh, like I said, power management, battery charger, haptic feedback, fuel gauge, etc. All from on. Okay, uh, AJ, you said wireless charging. I love that stuff. Can you tell me more about that part? Yeah, so wireless charging is really, a, we believe it's a key feature for the wearables in the future. And there's a lot of technologies out there for wireless charging. One of the key ones that we believe is going to be where all the wearables are going to be using in the future is called magnetic resonance. Okay. One consortium really is driving it. It's called Air Fuel Alliance. And so we designed this wearable or smartwatch to be compatible with magnetic resonance so technology from Air Fuel Alliance. So it offers you a two-hour wireless charging capability. And again, I didn't, I didn't mention one thing too is that it has very low or very long battery life as well so it will last between 24 up to 36 hours going back to the wireless charging it offers you a two hour wireless charging versus one hour during wire charging cool okay so i'm not just gonna ship the development kit can you give me an idea of the bill of materials that's involved and what does on semiconductor bring to this party so on semiconductor has a broad portfolio for the wearable market and really we play a complementary position right now around the main components which are typically the main mcu dsp or application processor and in this case the nordic ble okay but everything around it is pretty much we have so you're talking about power management battery charger wireless charging all the discrete components from logic diodes esd protection we have so we have a complete offering there for you around that main mcu okay so i think i got the hardware side of things uh, what's the software story here you got a software reference design for me yeah, absolutely. So we believe that hardware and software in this kind of project go hand in hand, as, sure. as you know. So software reference design is as important as a hardware reference design. So to enable you in your project, we are offering a complete sample code and firmware, as well as a smart app where you can download from the Android store as well as the Apple store for free. Okay. So this app enables you to pair your smartwatch with your phone, smartphone, and do some basic level, you know, fitness tracking, 
So you can evaluate that, cool. evaluate the motion sensor, as well as offering you some control of the hardware capability in it, which actually affects the battery life. So you can control the LCD brightness, you can control the haptic feedback capability. All of this is available for you through the smart app. Very cool. Okay. So what if I want to customize this bad boy? Uh, what do you guys have to offer there? Yeah, so the cool thing about this kit is that it gives you the capability to create your own product around this reference design. So in order to do that, starting from the software developments, so we're giving you the capability to write your own codes. So this comes with an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. Uh -huh. And all of the sample codes are really in a modular form. So you can take them out if you don't need to. You can edit them individually and you can put them back in. Cool, okay. All of that is included. The IDE is Eclipse-based. Okay. And with it, you can actually control. You can flash, write, debug, and compile for an ARM core processor not just for this project, but you can use it for any of your other projects as well. Okay, cool. The cool thing too from this software, which leads to more hardware development as well, is that this IDE enables you to control three ARM core processors, not just one. So first, the ARM core processor that's inside of the smartwatch, of course, that's something that you need to control. Right. But it offers you also to control the ARM core processor, which is in the dock. So we do have another BLE there in the dock. So you can actually write code to that one. So in case, in an in instance, you want to develop more of an IoT type of solution, so sure. that dock can play more than just a charging station. You can do mm -hmm. other things with it. Yeah. And on top of that, I talked about the hardware development side of things. So when you talk about hardware development, we enabled you the ability to add your own components into this reference design. So, cool. be, so we have a 25 port expansion port that you can add your own expansion card, your own components. We brought out GPIOs and power rails straight from the reference design from the smartwatch. Okay. So really you can build your total solution based on this and then go design and, and customize your product. And the IDE enables you to also write code for another ARM core processor on that expansion card as well. Oh, okay. So if you want to add like a more of a higher end application processor or yeah. something like that, you can actually write code to it as well through the same system. Cool. Okay. So it's a very flexible, very scalable solution. Excellent. Well, AJ, I think it's time to get started. <laughs> uh, where can I go for more information? Absolutely. So you can go to onsemi.com and we have a dedicated website there that shows you all of the components of this wearable development kits and downloadable material from your IDE to the schematics to the build material, etc. And go there and check it out. Excellent. I will. If you need any help, please contact our sales team and we'll be glad to help you out. Perfect. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, AJ. This was cool. Thank you, Amelia. And good luck. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find out more information about On Semiconductor's wearable development kit. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, check out the On Demand section of eejournal.com or head on over to YouTube, keyword eejournal.